In this video, we will graph the given log function on the TI-84 graphing calculator, as well as give the domain range and the equation of the vertical asymptote. Notice how we have log base three here, and therefore, we will have to use the change of base formula shown here below. Where on the calculator, we will use either common log or natural log. For this example, let's use common log. So y equals two times log base three of the quantity x plus one minus three, is equal to two times the common log of x plus one divided by the common log of three, and then we have minus three. We could also write this two in the numerator. And now before we go to the calculator, let's find the domain range and vertical asymptote. Remember for the basic log function in this form, x has to be greater than zero, but in our case because we have log base three of x plus one, x plus one must be greater than zero. So if we solve this inequality, we can determine the domain. If we subtract one on both sides, we have x is greater than negative one, which is the domain of the given log function. Using interval notation, this is the open interval from negative one to infinity. If we set x plus one equal to zero, we can determine the equation of the vertical asymptote. Solving for x, again we subtract one on both sides, giving us x equals negative one, which is the equation of the vertical asymptote. And looking at our notes on the basic log function, the range or output is all real numbers. So if the output of this function is all real numbers, multiplying by two and subtracting three won't change the range. The range is still the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. We will verify this graphically in just a moment. And now going to the calculator, to enter the function we press y equals, then we enter two common log of x plus one, close parenthesis, divided by common log three, and then we have minus three. Enter. To make sure we have the standard window, let's press zoom six. And now we have a decent graph of the function. Notice how this does verify x equals negative one is a vertical asymptote. The domain is the open interval from negative one to infinity. And because the graph goes down and up without any holes or breaks, the range is the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. And now to graph the function on our coordinate plane, we need to find some convenient points if possible. We will do this using the table of values. Let's press second window for the table set. Right now the table starts at three. Because the domain is x greater than negative one, Let's start the table at negative one, enter. Let's have the change in table be 0.5, which it is, and the independent and dependent variables on automatic, which they are. So now we press second graph to go to the table. And now we wanna find convenient points that we can use to graph the function. For example, here we have zero comma negative three. Here we have two comma negative one. And there aren't any other convenient points here except eight, one, but looking at our coordinate plane, it only goes out to seven, and therefore, let's determine the approximate function value when x is six. So if we scroll up to six, notice how the function value, or y value, is approximately 0 0.54. So let's use the points at zero comma negative three, two comma negative one, and six comma 0.54, to graph the function. Actually, before we plot these points, let's sketch the vertical asymptote of x equals negative one, which is this vertical line here. So we have zero comma negative three, which is here, two comma negative one, which is here, and six comma approximately 0 0.54, which is approximately here. So we know the graph passes through these three points and approaches the vertical asymptote, and therefore the graph looks something like this. I hope you found this helpful.